tiring drive all the way from Bangalore. The next morning, I woke up pretty early and decided that I should spend some time exploring Karwar. My first point of call was the beautiful Kali River Bridge. After watching the sunrise there, I decided to proceed a little inside the village. I didn't know where I was going, but I definitely knew there was a lot to explore around Karwar. This is the area called Karnasgiri. As I went in and drove, I saw that the area greeted me with tall trees on both sides. It was a lovely drive through the countryside and soon I chanced upon a small temple. This temple uh, is the Durga temple or the Shantadurga temple. It's also called as the Mahamayi temple. There was no real visible notes on uh, when the temple was constructed but I hear that this temple is famous uh, especially during the months um, in the winter season where they have a tear uh, or a chariot walk through the you know village. Interestingly, there's some history about the town of Karwar which has uh, legends saying that uh, Chhatrapati Shivaji, the great emperor, Maratha emperor, actually came here and seized this place. And um, he came here from Ankola, which is a town nearby. And um, he annexed this place, which was earlier also called as Sadashivgarh. Now, this particular temple I hear is famous with not just the Hindus, but also the Muslims. It's something that I read on Wikipedia or on TripAdvisor, but that's something that needs to be checked. I also went to the back side of the temple. The temple had an old well where the moss from the monsoons had just dried up. The color had gone from dark green to a burnt out yellow. Also because of the sunshine that keeps coming in during the winter months. Soon after that, I left this place to go and uh, check the bridge where the Konkan Railways goes right inside uh, this part of town called a railway station called Asnoti. So that's the railway station that comes right next after the Karwar uh, railway station. After that, we decided that uh, it was enough time exploring in the morning sun and we had to go fill our tummies with some food. So I decided to get back and I did not know where exactly we were. So I put the navigation on. My trusted aid was of course Nandu who would keep seeing the roads and advise me on you know whether I should take this left, whether I should take this right, whether I should stop if there was a dog in the way. Uh, it was slightly tough uh, driving on these roads because there were a few potholes and of course there are people driving along with you on this road which uh, necessarily makes you drive very slowly. Once we reached uh, the main uh, town of Karwar, we had to find a place to eat. So we chose a place right on the uh, left hand side of the southern bank of the Kali river. So we went and had our breakfast there and it was a short breakfast uh, stop. We um, had a stop of about 30 minutes where we ordered the usual fare that we are comfortable with which is idlis, some puri and some coffee. We have a whole day in front of us for us to drive and you will then start to warm it. What ice cream? Chocolate. Okay, is that breakfast? 
there's more coming up in the next part where within Karwar we go and explore the Rabindranath Tagore beach and the Devgarh beach. Stay tuned and watch Kachu Travels. Please subscribe to Kachu Travels on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook and of course my own blog www.kachutravels.com